Hey everyone, what's going on? Um, this is Dale, and I'm out here today. Uh, pretty much my last weekend, I'm actually working in the woods. Uh, would have preferred it wasn't 90 some degrees today, but it is what it is. Uh, I toughed it out last week, so I'm just kind of doing some finishing touches out here. Uh, where I'm at, if you can kind of see around here, uh, just um, about a month ago, I actually took a few trees down in here right along the property line. I actually have a um, new tree stand set up over in that corner towards the river. So what I did, I dropped a few of these trees around here. I did some hinge cutting along the property line, which is uh, kind of nice because it not only gives you like a natural barrier. I know I did the south section a few years ago and you can't even walk in there. It's so thick right now. So what's nice about doing this stuff is within two, three years, this all grows up really tall. So it gives you a natural property line. And plus, as all this stuff grows up here, um, it's a visual property line too. So I mean, somebody, your neighbor trying to look in your property is very difficult because of all the growth along the property line um, itself. So it's a lot of benefits of doing that. I uh, just got a little bit late on doing this one, but um, they come out pretty nice. Uh, as you can kind of see over here already, I mean, just maybe a couple weeks ago, this tree was taken down and the ends already chewed off. All the leaves are um, ate off from deer. So they hit these things pretty quick uh, as food. And, and these things will, being I do hinge cut these, they will uh, continue to grow for uh, a few years and we'll get sprouts and everything off of these. So a lot of benefits to doing it, but I just like, I mean, a lot of times you can see kind of some of the property um, markers over here and I got one just uh, right over here. But these come and go, they fall, trees fall on them and you kind of lose track at times. But nice thing, like I said, if you do some tree trimming along the edge, as long as you're careful, it is your property. Uh, you don't want to be taking any trees down your neighbors. But it is nice because five, ten years from now, I mean, these trees will still be here. So even if you kind of lost your property depth as far as where you, you think the line is, you get a pretty good gauge uh, knowing that you dropped these years ago and this is an accurate line. So other thing I'm doing today, um, so I'm just taking a break. Uh, I got my backpack sprayer. Not the ideal day to be doing it on a 90 degree high humidity day, but like I said, it's my last weekend up here. Being I did drop a lot of this, I'm actually trying to now funnel some of the deer through here. So I've been cutting, not a lot of cutting, just some smaller branches, some access through all this. And I'm then taking my sprayer, which is, um, I use barriers from Tractor Supply. It actually works really nice. A lot of people give it kind of a bad review, but you have to give it about a month. Um, something where if you expect it's going to be about a week instead, it's not. It's probably going to be three, four weeks. But when it's dead, it takes everything out. And it's... It's a good year or even longer before it'll begin to start growing a little bit. But as long as deer are using it, they will maintain those trails. The worst you have to do is come back, and I do that. I know where all my trails are that I've created. I um, just come out here with either a handsaw or a chainsaw, and just there's always going to be some trees that fall over them, which you have to clear the access out. But because uh, if you don't do that, yeah, I mean, deer's going to run through here, but this natural course is going to be to try to avoid some of the brush. So it's probably best to, well, it is best to create some trails through here. And once deer get used to them, and it don't take long, I mean, probably within a week or two, they'll be, I can put uh, trail cans out here and they'll be using them already. But, um, so yeah, a lot of benefits to doing it, but like I said, it's usually a little easier in the spring, but it's kind of had so much happen this year. Between family-wise and stuff, and then weather being so hot, I haven't got a lot done out here as much as I did, but... I'm pretty happy I got everything done, so today's just kind of my last few little tiny projects out here. I want to grab some trail cam discs, and uh, I didn't plant any food plots this year, but they actually did come back really nice. I uh, added some rests, I killed all the grass in them, and the clover came back really nice. Um, so deer are still using those couple, I got some smaller plots out here, but we're surrounded totally by farm fields, so more it's cover and natural browse that deer are looking for in here more than food plots but anyways i hope everyone's having a good labor day uh, i'm just trying to finish up out here i wasn't sure if i was gonna get out here with the storms but it looks like everything's holding off so i figure i'd do some spraying here before at least get a couple hours in as long as you get a good hour or two then it will it'll take effect on the on the stuff that i'm spraying but anyways have a good day and i will keep in touch take care